Morning everyone, this is um, lower back part two. Um, for this you'll need, uh, just checking that the video's going. <laughs> for this you'll need um, a block and a strap, uh, like we did before, so if you haven't got a block, a book's fine. Um, and a belt or something uh, would be good too. Okay, <clears throat> let's come into our comfortable sitting position then. Cross-legged if that's comfortable for you, or kneeling is fine too. And <clears throat> just uh, settle into your body, relax, close your eyes, feel the weight of your head. And uh, it's important that we just focus in on how we're feeling this morning. All right, chick. All right, calm down. And, yep. All right, all right, all right. Shush, 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 shush. All right, all right, all right. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, focus in on how we're feeling. Feel the weight of your head. Okay, just head weighs a stone, so just feel the weight of it over your <clears throat> shoulder girdle. Feel it nicely balanced. Gently pull your chin in or just tuck your chin to align your spine. And then relax your upper arms. Just allow them to hang directly vertically down from your shoulders. Bring your hands to wherever that allows them to be so that your shoulders are either level or just slightly back. And then feel from your head down your spine to your pelvis. Okay, so feel all the bits uh, down your back, your torso generally, into your hips, feel your hips, squeeze one buttock, hold the squeeze and then release, feel the hip bone settle, squeeze the left buttock, release, feel the other hip bones settle. Okay, feel all of those muscles and joints around your pelvis, try and soften them. It's difficult to relax them all because some of them are under tension because of where you're sitting, but just soften them. Okay, follow the path of your body down your thighs to your knees. All those really big muscles in your thighs, feel them all, relax them, soften them. Then from your knees down to your tootsies, Give your tootsies a bit of a wiggle, make sure you're still connected. And then feel through your whole body, relax through your shoulders, particularly your upper neck and your face. Feel your face, particularly your forehead. So feel the muscles, relax it, eyes, cheeks, mouth, even your tongue. Allow it to lull, be conscious of it. Allow it to lull just against your teeth. And then settle into your breath. We're going into well, just take two or three nice, steady, deep breaths. Nice, natural, deep breaths. Okay, feeling the expansion, gentle pressure on the belly outwards, expanding up through the rib cage, and gently pushing the air into those upper lobes of your lungs. Feeling that uh, upper rib cage expand and the shoulder girder slightly rise. As you exhale, just release naturally and then gently squeeze your belly to your spine or think about it as pulling your diaphragm up towards your ribs, okay? It really squeezes the air out. Okay, so a couple of, two or three really deep breaths, really focusing on those feelings and that movement. And then we'll go into box breathing. So breathing in for four and retain the breath for four and then breathe out for four. Okay, so box breathing, equal in, equal retention, equal out. As you hold your body in stillness for a count of four, remember to rescan your body, relax everything down, don't introduce tension back to your body. Okay, we'll continue with that breath, but we'll go to the classic four, seven, eight count. So in for four, hold for seven, and out for eight. This means you're breathing out twice as long as you breathe in. Make this your final four, seven, eight breath. And then return, once you've finished exhaling, return to your normal breathing. Equal breaths in, equal breaths out. 
and then bringing your hands together, keep your eyes closed, bring a bit of warmth to your hands, really rub them quite hard. Nice bit of warmth, place your palms over your closed eyelids, fingers uh, pointing up towards your forehead and the main part of your fingers resting on your forehead so you feel the warmth radiating from your hands. Look into the back of your eyes, Chittakasha, reflection of your mind, just accept whatever's there. Draw your hands down, pause with your fingertips, just gently massage the eyeballs, feeling the shape of them, particularly your irises, the colour bit. Okay, it sort of slightly protrudes from your eyeballs. Okay, gentle massage. And then release, open your eyes, take a soft focus on the floor in front of you, release your hands to your thighs, relax through your body, just get used to having your eyes open. Okay, drink everything in, in your peripheral vision, but don't focus on anything. You're still focusing on that point on the floor, but become aware of everything else around you. Steadying the breath. And then nice and slowly, bring your arms out to the sides. Try and keep the focal point for this first part. So that focal point on the floor. Arms come up to the top, shoulder width apart. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, sway to the right hand side. Okay, feeling that uh, left hand side of the body just gently tightening up. Try and relax it. Okay, remember, push the rib cage away from your pelvis. Try not to crunch on that right hand side. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sway to your side again, nice and slowly, feeling the muscles in the other side of the torso, just tightening up, soften them, breathe into that uh, right rib cage. Okay, push it away, inhale, come back up. Exhale, open the arms, twist to the right hand side. Inhale, come back up. Other side, opening the arms, twisting the other way, don't push it, nice and steady, nice and gentle. Inhale, come back up. Palms facing out, bring the hands down. As you come down, pull the arms back, feel the shoulder blades push together. Hands behind you, intertwine the fingers, push the backs of the hands away so your arms straighten. Feel your triceps nicely engaged, okay? Biceps too, probably. Okay, and feel that squidge between your shoulder blades and that sort of stretch, sort of neck into upper back. Okay. Uh, lift the hands away, gently gaze to the ceiling, lift the hands a little bit more, feel the squidge, feel the stretch across your chest, take a breath in. As you exhale, release, release the hands, bring the arms back up. As you exhale, bring the hands to the ground, walk out, <coughs> okay, walk them out as far as you can, don't ever do it, just feel the stretch, low back, okay, into your hips, and then you can just gently sort of twist um, from side to side. Okay, really feel it in your sort of traverse abdominals. Okay, all those core muscles either side of your ribs. Okay, as you swivel, <coughs> nice and slowly, come back up, inhale, arms up to the top. Exhale, sway to that right hand side again. Use the breath as you exhale to accentuate the stretch. Inhale, come back up, exhale, over to the other side, using the exhale, inhale, come back up, opening the arms, twisting to that right hand side, inhale, come back up, exhale, opening the other side, using that exhale, inhale, come back up, palms turning outwards, bring them down behind you, once more intertwine the fingers, straighten the arms, feel the triceps, squidging the shoulder blades, stretching across the front. Gently raise your gaze, lift the hands away, feel the squidge, allow everything to relax. Okay, take a breath in here and then twist gently to the right hand side as you keep the hands pulled away from your low back and keep the gaze upwards. Nice and slowly come back to the center and then twisting the other way keeping the gaze up. Okay, just feeling through your bod to see what's different about what we're doing in this twist. Come back to the center, release the arms, come all the way up to the top. 
As you exhale once more, <clears throat> final time, bringing your hands to the floor. Okay, walking outwards, stretching low back into hips. And then once more, using that little twist with the torso, one way and the other, feeling hips, shoulders, okay, into the torso. You can squeeze those muscles in your core, really connect with them, feel them, and just know what they're doing. <clears throat> okay, nice and slowly walk back up, and then you can release yourself from whatever position you're in, straighten your legs. Um, <clears throat> okay, we're going to use, um, we're going to sort of do what's known as setting the pelvis or resetting the pelvis. Okay, really helps the low back uh, when we do this. So you'll need your block, just one block, book, um, and we're going to sort of lie down first of all. Okay, so. Um, in fact, I'll go this way, so that um, your knees are bent, okay, feet are uh, hip width apart, and then we'll put the block um, long ways between the knees and bring your feet together, okay, so, so you look like a bit like a V, arms down by your sides, palms facing down, okay, so feet um, touching the insides, if you can get them that far in, but bring them together, and then start to squeeze the block. Okay, so squeeze the block nice and hard. Feel the inner thigh muscles far up. Okay, and then nice and slow, we're just going to roll from side to side. Not too far. Okay, just so you feel the hips lifting one way or the other. Okay, keep squeezing the block as you roll from one side to the other. Okay, feel those muscles, inner thigh muscles engaged. Okay, and just, just balances uh, the pelvis, just uh, gets everything sort of back into focus if you're lopsided it sort of straightens everything up okay a couple more of those so we'll do about I don't know, eight to ten something like that rolling from side to side and then come to a standstill okay take hold of the block and then turn it the other way so the uh, thin end is in okay once more squeeze okay and then do the same thing so rocking the uh, <clears throat> knees from side to side, breathing eight to ten, okay, squeezing, feeling those inner thigh muscles, and then come to standstill. Okay, grab hold of your strap, okay, or belt, whatever it is, uh, wrap it around the backs of your upper thighs or just a bit behind the knees, cross them over, okay, and grab hold of um, sort of opposite straps. Okay, once more bring your feet to the ground, uh, okay, uh, feet together, okay, and then pull on the strap so that your knees and thighs are squeezed together, and then try and pull the knees apart, okay, and then hold that tension, right, so you've got something going on in the arms and something going on in your legs, okay, same again, okay, so keep uh, pulling the knees away as you pull the strap, so you're pulling your knees together, but you're using your outer IT bands this time to pull the knees apart rolling from side to side just until your hip lifts off the floor okay keep going eight to ten and then come to a standstill okay lose the uh, strap <coughs> and then arms down by your sides and then lift the feet off the ground bring your lower legs uh, parallel flex your feet Okay, hip width apart once more, okay, not too close. Nice deep breath in, press the low back into the floor, squeeze your abdominals, and then release the right heel to the floor, come back up, left heel to the floor, come back up, right heel to the floor, come back up, left to the floor, come back up. Final time, right, and then left. Okay, just hold for a moment, taking nice steady breathing, feeling your low back, squeeze the abdominals, press your low back into the floor, Okay, now three both heels, take a breath in, release on the exhale, hover the knee, heels, come back up, inhale, exhale, release, heels to the floor, come back up, exhale, release to the floor, come back up, and then grab hold of your knees, squeeze them into your chest, and then straighten your legs up to the ceiling, arms up over your head. Okay, so push the heels away, flex the feet, spread the toes, 
backs of the knees pushing away. Don't worry if you can't get your legs straight, that's fine too. Okay, from this position, okay, we're going to go uh, three times. Uh, we're going to come uh, over with the arms, grab hold of the knees, squeeze in, and then back to this position. So take a breath in here. As you exhale, arms come over, grab hold of the knees, squeeze the knees into the chest. Inhale, arms come back over, legs straighten back up to the top. Okay, take a breath in. As you exhale, bend knees, grab hold, squeeze. As you exhale, inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend knees, squeeze into chest. Two more of these, inhale, arms come back over, legs up to the top. Exhale, squeeze knees, come back up, straighten legs, arms back over last time. Exhale, squeeze knees in, and then release to the floor, soles together, knees flop out to the sides, arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Okay, just gently rock from side to side on your pelvis just to free your uh, hip joints. Okay, allow them to. The only tension is your inner thigh muscles, but you don't have to worry about it. Just gravity is pulling it to the floor. Arms slightly away from the body, palms facing up, chin tucked in, so spine's nicely straight. Okay, we're going to breathe through the pelvic floor. So nice, steady inhale. As you do so, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles up towards your ribs. As you get to the top of your breath, hold it, hold the squeeze. And then release, exhaling, release the squeeze. Inhale again, start to squeeze the muscles as you reach the peak, peak squeezing, hold the breath. Release the flow, release the squeeze with the breath. And then a final inhale with a squeeze. Hold the squeeze, hold the breath. This time pull your belly in or try and hollow your belly as you hold the breath. Release the hollow belly, release the breath, release the squeeze, and relax down. Okay, and then bring your knees back together. So uh, feet are nicely engaged on the floor, arms down by your sides. We're just going to scoop the pelvis. Okay, so the way we do that is we push the hips into the floor and lift the tailbone up. So we scoop the pelvis one way. Okay, you feel the engagement in your core and the curl in your spine. Okay, release the other way, so tailbone goes down, and then we push our hips up, okay? Uh, push them up as far as you can, feel the curl in your low back, okay? And then we just flow from one side to the other, okay? So, push, pulling the hips to the floor, curling the tailbone, hold the squeeze, take a breath in. And then with the breath, as you exhale, go the other way, tailbone push down, hips up, feel the curl. Inhale, come back the other way. Lifting tailbone, squeezing the core. And again, exhaling, lifting hips, pushing tailbone in, feeling the curl. Final time, inhale, scooping. Exhale, hips up, tailbone pushed in. And then hold and relax. Okay, just arms down by your sides and then just gently Allow the knees to windscreen wiper from side to side, softening, relaxing the muscles that you feel being stretched as you do this. Okay, breathing as you rotate and release. Okay, come to steady standstill. Uh, we're going to roll up. Okay, we'd like to do this in a controlled way. So a nice way to do that is just to pull your knees in, lift your feet so you've got enough weight pushing forward, and then just gently roll, come up to a sitting position. Okay, if we um, bring our soles together, okay, grab hold of your uh, tootsies with your hand, so right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot, <coughs> okay, and then try and come into a balance on your bum, okay, lift up through the spine, so nice and straight, okay, just steady everything down, pick a focal point, so just stare at something that's not moving, nice deep breath in. As you exhale, just start to straighten one leg. Let's start with the left. <coughs> okay, try and bring it as straight as you can. Don't worry if it's not straight. Okay, you'll feel it in the hamstrings, obviously. Okay, hold, breathe, and focus. It's a balance. Try and keep that spine nicely aligned. Okay, release. Okay, move steady as we're in a balance. Okay, bring it back down. As you do so, lift the other one. Again, pressing into the hand. 
feeling that hamstring, steadying everything, focusing, steady breathing. Okay, release, bring that leg back down. Okay, really focus for this one. Okay, we're going to do both. So nice and slowly, push into your hands, counterbalance by sort of squeezing your core, pushing your torso forward as you push into your hands. Lift and try and hold, nice and stable, nice integrity in the spine. Breathe, try and release, soften through those uh, hamstrings and then release, come back down. Okay, what I always like to do in this position is try and bring your soles together. So it means you curl your ankle joints, arms out to the sides, and then try and squeeze your heels to your bum. Okay, hold the squeeze. You'll feel it in inner thighs and also right in there. Breathe. Nice and slowly release. Come into sort of a half boat pose. Okay, so lower legs parallel, arms out to the side and then bring the soles to the floor and then cuddle your knees and curl your back as you do so so give them a cuddle curl your spine feel it okay feel those muscles either side of your spine sort of stretching as you curl it and then nice and slowly release again we'll do a couple of moves in the sitting position so keeping those uh, knees bent, okay, arms behind you, fingers pointing towards you. We're going to come up into um, <coughs> reverse tabletop. Okay, so feel connected through the feet first of all, so press them into the floor. Uh, you'll feel it in the shoulders and the wrists, so just take it a little bit easy. Okay, start to press into your uh, feet and then squeeze your core, lifting nice and steady. Your knees should roll up so that they're stacked over your ankles and uh, try not to allow your knees to splay out either side okay so the idea is to try and be a straight line between knees and shoulders okay release your head somewhere comfortable don't strain it okay just feel through your shoulders okay you can gently rock back and forth just to change the movement as you sort of rock forward you'll feel pulling your heels back squeezing your hamstrings squeeze your bum as well okay that's a full engagement of your hamstrings as you sort of pull yourself forward Okay, breathe, release, keep lifting, keep squeezing your bum. Nice deep breath in as you release, come back down. Bum between your heels. Okay, this is a good core exercise in itself. Okay, just hover if you can. Keep off the floor, straighten your legs, squeeze your bum backwards, and then come back and place everything down. Okay, give your wrists a little bit of a shake, a bit of a rotation. <clears throat> okay, then go back, fingers the other way this time. Okay, we'll do this um, slightly different sort of figure of four position. So cross your ankle over your knee. So sort of right ankle over the back of left knee. Okay, you may want to adjust the position of that foot depending on your feeling in your right hip. Okay, don't worry about it. Just bring it somewhere comfortable. Start to press into that foot. Try and lift in figure of four. As you come up, okay, try and uh, pull that right knee to the floor. So you're opening the hip. Again, releasing your head, lifting your hips. Hold different feeling in your shoulders this time. Squeeze your bum, breathe nice and slowly, coming back down. Okay, uncross, wrists a little bit, bit of a shake. Okay, now this time you can come either way. Okay, whichever way was sort of more comfortable or not, <laughs> depending on how you feel. Okay, um, cross the uh, other ankle over, feel it in your hip. Again, move your bum back and forth, see how it feels in your hip. Okay, bring that uh, foot into a position where you know you can come up from. Nice and slowly press into that foot. Knee rolls forward. <clears throat> As you lift, gently bring this left knee towards the floor. Press into that foot, lift the hips, squeeze, release the head. Breathe, hold. Final breath here, and then release. Coming back down. <clears throat> bum to the floor and then straighten your legs give your wrists a bit of a shake and a wiggle and then come into a tabletop position <clears throat> okay so wrists underneath shoulders knees underneath hips okay uh, just uh, get yourself settled in a neutral tabletop remember press into the feet 
the tops of your feet particularly. Okay, if that's uncomfortable for you, then you can curl your toes and press your toes into the feet, but uh, make sure there's pressure there because that engages your thigh muscles and then into your lower abdominals too. Okay, so pressing into neutral tabletop, pull your belly up towards your spine. Okay, and then we're just gonna squeeze the pelvic floor, okay, with the breath. So as you inhale, okay, pull that belly up towards the spine, but squeeze your pelvic floor up to your ribs. And then as you exhale, release the pelvic floor. So focus on that pelvic floor movement. Inhale, squeeze the belly up towards the spine, pelvic floor up to the ribs, hold, release. Okay, final time. It's funny, is it? Because there's no movement, it's just all internal. Well, when I look at myself, I mean. <laughs> Okay, but you can feel the movement inside. It's just helping you connect with those muscles of the pelvic floor, really important, okay, that we get control of them. Hold the squeeze, and then release and relax, okay? Just gently sort of um, sway from side to side, rock backwards and forwards, just feeling through shoulders, wrists, hips, knees, Okay, making sure everything feels fine. And we're gonna go into cat-cow, okay? So neutral position, as you inhale, lift the head, Allow the belly to fall to the floor. Push your sit bones to the ceiling. Feel that curl in your spine. As you exhale, coming the other way, curling the back like a cat, pressing into your hands, pressing into the tops of your feet. Remember those. Okay, feeling engaged. What happens when you press into your feet? You lighten through your knees. Okay, squeeze the core. Inhale, come back. Okay, head up, belly, belly down, sit bones to the ceiling. Exhale. Curling the back like a cat, pressing into your feet, squeezing. Final time, inhaling. Cow curl. Exhaling. <clears throat> Curling like a cat. And then nice and slowly, release your bum to your heels. <clears throat> Come into extended child pose to begin with. Walk your hands away. Just feel that stretch, shoulders, hips. Okay, sway from side to side, breathe, <clears throat> and then release, come into whatever your <clears throat> relaxing child pose is, releasing, softening, and relaxing, and breathing. Okay, Ujjayi breathing here, we're going completely internal in child pose, everything's folding inwards. Okay, close your eyes, really focus on your breath, breathing in and out through your nose, constricting the back of the throat, making that internal sound of the ocean, that vibration, gives the mind something to focus on. Okay, final breath here. <coughs> and then coming back up into uh, tabletop position. Okay, we're going to come into sunbird. So, right leg straight out behind us, first of all. Okay, push the heel away, you'll see it's in line with the uh, torso. Heel away, flex the foot, spread the toes. Bring the weight to the right hand <coughs> and lift the opposite limb. Keep a focal point though, try not to move your head around. Keep a focus, it helps because this is a balance. Okay, extend everything away, pushing the fingers, the arms, shoulders through the core, it will be as long as you can. Okay, nice and slowly, start to <coughs> bend the arm and bring it behind you. Back of the hand curls round okay, uh, on that side, okay? And then nice and slowly, just turn and twist the torso. It's in a balance, so move nice and steadily, bringing that shoulder up towards the ceiling, coming back, looking down at the mat, bending that lifted leg, grabbing hold if you can. <coughs> okay, just gently fold the... Uh, heel towards the bum first of all. Feel the muscle in the top of your thigh nicely straighten and then nice and slowly press the foot into the hand and lift everything upwards. Okay, try and be as sort of high as you can as you press in, feeling that muscle in your thigh. Breathe nice and steadily as you hold it and then soften and release and come back to the floor into tabletop. A couple of moments before we swap over. <coughs> Okay, and then straighten the left leg. Okay, push the heel away, flex the foot, spread the toes, squeeze your bum. Okay, really feel the squeeze. 
weight to the left, focus the eyes, steady the head, and then straighten the other arm out, lengthening all the way through your bod, fingers through to heel, stretching everything away, and then soften that arm, bring it all the way around, wrap it around the back of your hand, so you're almost tickling the top of your left thigh. Okay, and then start to turn that shoulder, look up to the ceiling, press into all three points on the floor, that's what stabilizes you. Okay, nice and slowly come back. Okay, bend that left leg, grab hold of the foot. Okay, gently sort of pull the heel towards the bum. Feel that top thigh muscle. Okay, nice and slowly start to press the foot into the hand, lift everything up, hold. Couple of breaths. And then release, coming back down into the tabletop. Okay, tuck the toes, hands to the top of the mat, straighten the legs, come up into downward dog, bicycle the legs. <coughs> okay, so remember bending the knees, pull the bum back towards the bottom of the mat. This helps to align your front. You'll see my <coughs> sort of head uh, upper arm alignment improve as I do this. A little more tension in your shoulders, but uh, that's the point. <laughs> okay, from this position, try and hold wherever you've got to front half, and then gently start to straighten the legs, push the backs of the knees away. Yeah. Oh, okay, then. okay, bum to the ceiling as well. Okay, try and release your heels towards the floor. Don't worry if they don't get there. Lifting your bum, hold the position and breathe. Okay, nice and slowly bend the knees once more. Okay, this time we're going to push our hands and we're going to come into a <coughs> forward fold. And the mat, okay, grab hold of your elbows, pull your belly in and gently just sway from side to side. Okay, bend your knees as much as you need to, particularly if this um, <coughs> your back is a bit of an issue. Okay, uh, bending your knees swaying from side to side okay the more you bend your knees the more it takes the pressure off the low back okay it brings the weight more over to your feet <coughs> okay but <coughs> if you're fairly healthy back wise okay <coughs> straighten your legs don't worry if they're not straight okay you'll feel it in your hamstrings push your bum to the ceiling try and release your head neck arms torso towards the floor okay gently pushing your backs of your knees away Gently swaying from side to side. Okay, get comfortable in the pose. And then come to a standstill, nice and slowly, bending the knees, arms out to the side, nice strong backs, coming up into raised arm pose. Okay, pressing the fingers to the ceiling, feeling or stretching extending all the way from the soles of your feet all out the sides of your bod. <coughs> okay, all the way up to your fingertips. Nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, palms together. Coming down into mountain pose. Okay, just hold in mountain pose. Again, feeling through your posture, soles of your feet, soften your knees pelvis scoop it if it makes that flare in your spine reduce lift your rib cage vertically upwards not to push your chest out okay lift it vertically upwards shoulders relaxed or slightly back feel your shoulder blades slightly together and pointing towards the floor okay chin tucked in close your eyes take two nice steady deep breaths feeling that expansion in your chest, settling everything down, feeling that beautiful posture. Okay, nice, open your eyes, nice deep breath in, arms out to the side, coming up into raised arm pose. Intertwine your fingers, bring the backs of the hands to the back of the head. And then we're just gonna go to a sort of scapular roll. Okay, so bring the chin to the chest, just curl the head first of all. Lift the elbows, okay? So keep the arms wide. 
Okay, <coughs> gentle pressure on the back of the head, okay, but also push your head into your hands, okay, so there's an equal sort of pressure, but try and you can feel the muscles of your neck with your thumbs, try and soften those. Okay, and we're just going to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, okay, so your hips and uh, legs remain vertical. Okay, we're just going to curl the spine. So vertebrae by vertebrae, roll down, feel each one. Okay, keep looking down at your tootsies. Okay, rolling vertebrae by vertebrae. Even the lower ones, you can bend your knees a little bit if you need to. Okay, once you've rolled and curled everything, you can then start tilting from the hip. Okay, stay curled. Okay, my sort of face goes towards my knees, so, but you might be different. Okay, hold wherever you get to. Keep the curl, and then come back up. So tilt back to where you stopped curling before, and then start to curl. Okay, so the idea is to try and bring your legs sort of, and hips vertically before you start coming up with your curl. Okay, all the way back up until... Your head is the only thing, I mean your spine's almost sort of 90 degrees or it feels it in this position here, that's fine. Lift your elbows if you've left let them slack and then release your head, come back up. And then tilt your head back as far as you can, open the elbows, hold the position, breathe. And then arms up to the sides. <coughs> okay, extend fingers to fingers, okay, extend across the chest, nice deep breath in, as you exhale, keep the arms wide, twist to the right hand side, okay, come round as far as you can, twisting everything, okay, you may be able to come all the way round to almost look backwards, okay, so everything's twisting, ankles, knees, hips, okay, come back nice and slowly, keep the extension arms wise, breathe in, exhaling, all the way around to the other side. Again, coming round as far as your bod will allow. Holding. Inhaling, come back up. Arms up to the top. Stretching everything up and away. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, coming into a swallow dive. <coughs> into forward fold. Inhaling, right leg comes back into lunge. Okay, and then from lunge this side, just turn to the right hand side, come into a wide-legged forward fold. <coughs> okay, you can gently bring your fingers to the floor. You might be here, okay, but that's fine. Okay, but just lean forward, okay, bend the knees if you need to. Uh, but if you've got your feet on the f fingers on the floor, that's fine. Okay, now the idea is we're going to sway from one side to the other. So coming across to the right hand side, first of all, bending into that right leg, straightening the other. And you can just push into the heel and turn that foot so it comes vertically upwards, okay, into a sort of side squat. Okay, taking the pressure with your hands if it's a little bit too much for your thigh. Okay, nice and slowly come back up, okay, and then swap over. So sway over to the other side, again bending into the other thigh, feel the weight, pressing into the heel, verticalizing the foot, straightening that leg. Okay, you get a slightly different. A stretch once you put the foot vertical. Okay, if you come onto your side, you'll feel it in your inner thigh. If you come here, it comes to the front of your thigh. Okay, come to the stop, come to the center, back to the center, bend your knees as much as you need to. Okay, bring your hands onto your hips and then nice and slowly, nice strong backs coming up to a standing position. Okay, so make sure you've got uh, enough going on width wise in your wide legged position, not too much. Okay, turn your feet out the way. Okay, we're going to go this way first of all. So just turn one foot to face forward and the other foot, we're going to be into triangle. So um, <coughs> up to 90 degrees is fine, but just bring that rear foot to wherever is comfortable. Between 90 degrees and 60 is normally about right. Okay, so arms out into um, five star pose. <coughs> okay, so arms are in line, pushing outwards. Okay, the this front leg that we're going to come into triangle. Uh, with this front leg here, it's not locked, okay? You can straighten it, but then soften the knee, okay? So keep it like that. Okay, for triangle pose, push the fingers, those fingers forward, front foot, the right hip goes, it sticks out. Okay, once we get to that position, we start to rotate. Okay, this hand here, palms facing towards me, 
Okay, and then we just try and bring that hand down as far as you can. Don't worry about where you are. Okay, if you can bring it to the floor, straighten the other arm up to the ceiling. Okay, and then really feel into the pose when you get here. We're pushing the head that way, sort of horizontally away from us. So with our spines nicely straight. Okay, we're extending across the chest. We're twisting through the torso too. There's a lot going on. Okay, the, <coughs> we're pressing into the feet. We're pulling our heels together so that we're engaging those inner thigh muscles. Okay, hold in this position. <coughs> Look down at the floor. Focal point's either there or, take your time, we can look up at the open palm or up to the ceiling or the sky in my case. Okay, hold for a couple of moments. Nice deep breath in. Now soften the front leg. We're going to come back up to where we started. We're going to go into reverse triangle, okay? So everything comes up, okay? And then we keep arcing upwards to the sun. Release that right hand to the back thigh. Push the fingers up to the ceiling. Take a breath in and then keep going. Feel that lovely stretch up that side. Nice and slowly come back to where we started. <coughs> okay, turn the uh, feet towards me. Okay, we're going to come down with the arms out in a forward fold, bending the knees, tilting from the hip, coming down, trying to keep the arms in line as you come down. Okay, bend the knees. Okay, no pressure on the low back. <coughs> Okay, uh, but feel it soften, that uh, low back sort of extends as you come down. Keep the arms pressing out and then release the arms, bring them to the floor. And then we're going to come back to where we started, <coughs> okay, into our high lunge on this side. Okay, nice deep breath in, left leg joins right into downward dog. Okay, now nice and slowly, downward dog to plank. Okay, so <coughs> pressing the bum up to the ceiling, okay, releasing the ears between the upper arms. Nice deep breath in and then nice and slowly coming into plank. Now we can arch the back on this one, so try and pull the chest upwards, okay? Try and curl the back, okay? We do that by scooping the pelvis. So come down into plank in that position, adjust the feet if you need to, okay? So we go from that curl back to our nice planky position, bum slightly above horizontal, okay? Feet in line, the hips, okay? <coughs> adjust the position if it's not quite right, look down at the mat, Spine's nicely straight. Press into your feet. Press your sort of heels backwards. Try and straighten or push the backs of your knees away from you. Squeeze your bum. Okay, it helps to support your low back. And then pull your hands back to your tootsies. Push your toes to your hands. Okay, focus. Breathe nice and deeply. Don't shorten it. Okay, nice and slowly. We're going to come back up to uh, downward dog. So sort of soften everything, start to arch back, come up on your tippy toes, arch like a cat, and then return, pushing your bum up to the ceiling, releasing your heels to the floor, again adjusting the position back into downward dog if you need to. Okay, bum up, breathe and hold. A couple more here. And then nice and slowly, just coming into our plank position from here as we would normally. Okay, again, feeling the strength, feeling the move, try and do it by feel. Okay, so bum's not too high up, but it's not sagging either. Okay, now from this position here, we're going to come into upward dog. Okay, now you can either release the knees to the floor and come into it, or if you're happy with your low back, all we do is start to release the hips to the floor. Keep nicely strong and supportive through the arms. Okay, release your head forward. Now you can keep your chin tucked in so your spine is nicely aligned or if you're happy with your neck then you can really sort of look up at the sky, press into your toes, push your heels back, soften through your back. Again just uh, control that position in your low back. Again on your knees it's like this. Okay and then nice and slowly come back to plank from wherever you were. Okay, now <clears throat> from this position we can do knees, chest, chin, or if you're strong in arm, bending the elbows, elbows go backwards, just completely flatten onto the floor, one hand on top of the other, and then turn your head, come into a comfortable lying position, and then take a few breaths, nice and deep, focused breathing. Okay, we're going to come into or build up to a bow pose. So first of all, we bring the forearm 
in line with the top of the mat, left forearm first of all, uh, bend the right foot and grab hold of the inside of that foot, okay? Uh, what it does is it sort of chest, it uh, stretches the chest a little bit more when we do this. Okay, now start off by just gently pulling the heel towards the your bum. Okay, if you're already there, then bring it to the side and keep going. Otherwise, just adjust the position. You'll feel it in your upper thigh when you do this. Okay, and then release it. And then what we're going to do is just press the foot into it. I want a bit of a hill here, so I have to roll over a bit. So just press uh, your foot into your hand and then just feel the stretch front of that thigh. Okay, through your back, lick and lift up, press into your forearm. And then release and swap over. So right forearm. Okay, bend that uh, foot, grab hold of the inside. Just pull the heel towards the bum first of all, try and soften through that uh, muscle. A couple of breaths. And then grab hold sort of over your hand, top of the foot, and then press into it, lift up. Okay, feel it in that front thigh. And then release, come back down. Okay, let's try full bow pose then. So grab hold the inside of both feet if you can. And again, just pull your heels into your bum first of all. And then nice and slowly start to press in. Push the feet into the hands. <laughs> I'm on a bit of a hill here, so I'm rolling. Okay, and then just lift up as high as you can. You can use the breath so as you breathe in, lift up, exhale, release. Inhale, lift up, exhale, release. Inhale, lift up, exhale, release. And then release, one on top of the other. And then turn your head the other way to where we had it just now. Breathing, relaxing and releasing. Okay, final breath here. Hands under the shoulders, up into cobra, lifting the head, exhaling, pressing, bum back towards heels, tuck toes, straight legs come into uh, downward dog. As you inhale, right leg comes forward into lunge. Okay, this time we're going to turn to the left hand side. I'll turn to face you. Okay, so turning left hand side, we're coming into that wide leg position again. Okay, hands on hips. Coming up to our wide leg position, arms out to the sides. Now we're going to go into the other side with our triangle pose. Okay, so whichever way you did before, turn the other way. I'm facing the camera, so I'm going the other way. Okay, so just feel how different it is on this side. Arms still in line. Okay, soften that front knee. Remember, don't lock it. Press into your feet. Pull your heels together. Okay, your inner thigh muscles far up. Okay, pushing that front finger forward, allow that left hip to come back, start to rotate, coming round, coming down as far as you can, but try and keep those arms in line. Again, pushing the head that way, trying to extend the spine. You feel all this sort of clicky stuff going on here normally, or I do, <laughs> maybe it's just me. Okay, so releasing, feeling the twist, feeling that extension in the spine. Okay, that opening of the chest, pulling, that distance between fingertip and fingertip, feeling strong through your feet. Okay, breathing. Beautiful. Soften that front knee, come back up. Okay, reverse triangle. Okay, so turn the front palm up to the top, pause when you get to the top, take a breath in, push the fingers up as you exhale, continue the arc, feeling that extension up the right hand side allow that left hand to dribble down your leg coming back where we started arms in line turning face the camera or what well, for me <laughs> okay and then release the arms around behind you intertwine the fingers press the backs of the hands away okay lift the hands away from uh, the low back. Soften the knees if you need to. We're going to come down into a forward fold with our arms in this position. Nice deep breath in, tilting from the hip, okay, pushing the chest forward, lifting the head. Okay, come down halfway, make sure everything feels just so, just right. Continue if it feels good. 
okay arms come up looking back through your legs arms coming up as far as you can breathing softening releasing and then release the arms bring them back to the floor okay and then turn come back into your uh, high lunge position okay nice deep breath in right leg joins left downward dog okay knees to the floor cross the heels sit back over the heels come into a sitting position okay heels to the top of the mat <coughs> okay extend or engage the muscles of the legs push the heels away flex the feet spread the toes back to the knees to the floor push into your sit bones lift through the crown of your head arms out to the side coming up into staff pose okay so pushing those fingers away breathing nice and steadily and then bring the arms down in line with your legs okay push the fingers away feel that sort of extension across your shoulder blades and then nice and slowly we're going to come back halfway okay as we come down again trying to keep that integrity in your spine hold halfway nice deep breath in as you exhale twist to the left hand side really feeling your traverse abdominals as you twist around inhale come back use the exhale to squeeze the twist the other way inhale come back one more either way squeeze to the left inhale come back exhale squeeze to the right inhale come back and then we're going to go all the way to the floor so nice and controlled focus okay that curl of the low spine to get that first vertebrae on the floor Bring the arms up to the top. Push the fingers up to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in, turn the palms, bring the hands out to the sides. Okay, press your hands into the floor. Okay, and just push down, push down through your hands. Okay, feel it in your shoulders. Hold. And then release, arms down by your sides, bend your knees into bridge pose pressing into your feet lifting your hips okay squeeze your bum bring your hands together if you feel good shuffle your shoulders in keep pressing your hips up hold and breathe pull your heels back to your shoulders squeeze your bum feel the hamstrings release push into your toes okay and then release coming down low back to the floor and then just gently windscreen wiper your knees left to right and then just straighten your legs come into your fun relaxation position savasana close your eyes arms slightly away from the body palms facing up chin tucked in and then scan your body so everything the back of your head lower back buttocks backs of the legs to your heels across the soles of your feet to your tootsies top of your feet ankles shins knees thighs pelvis abdomen chest shoulders to your face feel the muscles in your forehead eyes cheeks mouth tongue feel it relax it soften it release it and then focus on your breath and your breathing breathing in and out of your nostrils feeling that movement in your torso like a wave so as you inhale belly pushed up expanding through the chest as the wave crashes on the shore and then as it recedes your chest falls belly gently pulls towards the spine or the diaphragm pushes up towards the ribs before the wave builds up to crash once more okay so imagine the breath like a wave visualize it feel it breathing in relax breathing out breathe out tension breathing in relax breathing out relax
Okay, slowly bring your attention back to the here and now. Take a steady breath in as you do so. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and bring your arms up over your head. Give your body a lovely long stretch, pointing the toes, flexing the feet. And then very slowly, bending your knees, roll over to one side or the other, and then using your hand, press yourself back up to a comfortable sitting position. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, hands into prayer mudra, close your eyes, Take two nice, deep, steady inhales. Namaste. Thank you very much. See you next time.